Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 11th of May 2022. Okay, I already got the message for Divine Masculine for today. I, I was shown this spread of cards for Divine Masculine. I saw it in my mind's eye, right? In my third eye. And it was um, just like this. It was in, in playing cards. Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords, The Fool, the Eight of Cups. And as I was shown this spread in my mind, I could hear a song that uh, another reader heard today also. I could hear that uh, song too. I was channeling the same song. It's uh, Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. So, I feel like this message is for a masculine who actually watches tarot readings. They could watch a lot of different tarot readers. Um... And this masculine has some mental health issues, so they probably should stop watching the readings now and go and talk to a mental health professional because I feel like somebody's um, somebody's really in trouble. In the last 24 hours, I've seen a lot of uh, titles uh, regarding mental health in the tarot community, even about uh, people trying to hurt themselves. So I'm afraid... Um, that this is indeed about men. Mainly men are dealing with this issue right now. So as I was seeing this spread in my mind, I heard the song Dancing in the Dark. And I could also um, see another vision of somebody going very fast on a serpentine road. Driving very fast on a serpentine road. And look at the cars for a second. The the song I was hearing, the, the lyrics I was hearing from that song was like this. Um, you can't start the fire. You can't start the fire without a spark. This gun's for hire. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. Okay, this guy, you see he's got the ballet pants on, so he's dancing, I guess. Whatever. There you go. That's what I was hearing. So I think that's what, what the spread is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the song again, right? It's supposed to remind me of the song. So like I said, this man could listen to Bruce Springsteen. Maybe he's a fan. Could be. Um, but like I said, this man could be fantasizing about hurting himself. Even if he hasn't done it. Even if he's not really planning to do it. Maybe he's fantasizing about it, right? He could have like... Um, visions of it or he could imagine it maybe when he's driving he's thinking about what it would be like if he drove off the cliff or something like that so please if you are dealing with these kinds of fantasies even if you're not planning to actually do it please stop watching these readings because um a lot of readers are unhealed and they spiritually gaslight people and even if they don't mean to sometimes Sometimes they can be very triggering. Some of the things tarot readers can say are very triggering, right? Especially when they're channeling because they're just yapping, you know, and the information just comes out, you know, and hits you. And it hits differently when it comes to different people. So uh, please stop watching and talk to a mental health professional. Even if you can't afford one, uh, there are mental health um, call lines, right? like the mental health hotline. For example, here in the UK, there's the Samaritans, where you can call for free and get some mental health help. I don't know about other countries, but there, there's there got to be something. There's got to be some kind of support, whether uh, by the phone or online, uh, regarding this. So, um, please stop watching readings if they're very triggering. If they're doing more harm than good, right? Because it, sometimes it's it's okay to be triggered because you need to be shown where the pain is. But um, it's like somebody's hurting themselves by getting triggered, I guess. That's another thing I'm picking up. Somebody could be watching triggering readings on purpose. Maybe to um, get used to the pain, to numb themselves to the pain. It's like self-cutting a bit. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Right, so the person we're dealing with is definitely a man. Ace of Wands is Aries, right? Um, this is Gemini, but it could be any air sign, right? The Knight of Swords is the most aggressive card in the whole deck. It rep definitely represents a very masculine energy. Then we've got Aries again, then Scorpio. 
So Aries and Scorpio are both governed by Mars. Um, Gemini is governed by Mercury. And I had, uh, now I have the Ten of Wands here, but I had the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck when I put these cards down. Six of Wands is Leo, it's the Sun. Again, more masculine energy. Also, this person could be somebody who seems very extroverted, right? People do not suspect what's happening behind the scenes with this person. Because this person could be somebody who uh, could be um, joking a lot. They could be a fun person to hang around with, right? They could be very sharp, very quick-witted. This is like somebody who's like kind of like the class clown or something like that, you know, somebody who uh, makes other people laugh. But the thing about people who are very good comedians is that they tend to be very hurt. The best comedians have like the most uh, painful experiences and they've learned to be, to kind of like um, not th take things so seriously by making fun of their own pain. So this could be some, that kind of person. And this person could be very inspired when it comes to cracking these kinds of jokes, right? Um, it's like a sad clown kind of energy here. Okay, so what's the message for this man? Because I think this is somebody who watches. I don't think this is a message for the cross watcher. I think this is a message for the man himself. Okay, so uh, what's the message for this man, please? Holy Spirit, what's the message for this man? Can we get a message for this man? Maybe the message is what I said. Go and talk to a doctor, uh, not to uh, tarot readers. Because they might be doing more harm than good. You see, it doesn't want to say anything. Is there any message for this man? The fool wanted to come out again. Is there any message for this man from the Holy Spirit? Usually something would come out by now. It's weird that it took so long. Queen of Wands is the message. Queen of Wands is more Aries energy. And Ten of Wands is again on the bottom of the deck. You saw it was on the bottom and I shuffled for so long and it's again on the bottom. Um, this could definitely be a message for a fire sign or about a fire sign. Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. This is Aries and Leo energy. So if this is a man, there could be a woman... The message could be about a woman. The Queen of Wands is a witch. So th this man could be under attack by a witch, possibly. I don't know. What's with the what's with the witch here? What's with the Queen of Wands? Is the Queen of Wands doing something against this man? Is the Queen of Wands doing something against this man? Holy Spirit, is this Queen of Wands working against this man? Seven of Swords. She's doing something sneaky. Again, she... she yeah. Queen of Wands with the Seven of Swords could be somebody who's doing a black magic, who's doing something behind this man's back, something uh, sneaky, something. She could also be stealing. This could also be a prostitute. The Queen of Wands could be a prostitute too. Somebody who's stealing from this man or is tricking this man. She could be pretending to, to be interested in him, but she wants to steal something from him. Seven, seven. This is a red flag. It's like an alarm about this woman. This woman could be an air sign or a fire sign too. Okay, so let's talk about this woman. Who is this woman to this man? Who is this woman to this man? Holy Spirit, who is this Queen of Wands to the man? The King of Swords. The King of Swords could be a teacher of some sort. Somebody who gives this man some kind of order, some kind of... It could be a spiritual teacher or it could just be some... Yeah, it's somebody who's uh, telling this man what to do. Is this a man or a woman? This Queen of Wands, King of Swords, is it a man or a woman? It's a man. It's a man. Okay, so this Queen of Wands, they're coming up as Queen of Wands, but it's a man who's in charge of this other man. Who is giving him orders to do something, right? This is like a general. This is, right, king of swords. And then we got knight of swords. So the man who is dealing with mental health issues is this knight of swords. And the person who is behind, who is in charge of this man is a king of swords. Who is coming up as queen of wands. Possibly because he's a shapeshifter, a trickster, seven of swords. There's a trickster energy here. This person can shapeshift very well. Because you see the two of wands. It's a black card. It represents Aries. Also represents Aries. So 
uh, both of these men have similar energies, right? Air and fire. Both of them could have a lot of air and fire in their chart. This one could also have water in their chart. But they have predominantly air and fire, both of them. And this King of Swords, like I said, he shapeshifts. He comes off as a woman, so people think that there's an evil woman here. Because uh, women are, are quick to jump on other women and attack them and call them witch, right? It hasn't changed since the days of the Inquisition and up until now we're still like that. And this guy knows it. So he's pretending to be a woman so that, um, yeah, uh, so that the other women do not suspect that it's a man. So what does this King of Swords tell the Knight of Swords to do? Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. To make somebody homeless, possibly. Or to make somebody leave their home, leave their family behind, isolate themselves from their family. So he could, this one could be asking this one to do some kind of spells. But this guy is capable of doing spells himself. This King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords character, they can do spells themselves. They might be even more powerful than this guy. But they're using this guy possibly so that they don't get the karma. You understand? This guy is trying not to get karma for uh, doing some kind of spell on somebody else. So they're, ask acting, they're asking this guy. And this guy could be losing his mind because of the spells. A six of wands again on the bottom of the deck. Um, so this one, that's what annoys me here. This is a guy, okay? The queen of wands, seven of swords, king of swords, two of wands is a man definitely we clarified that clearly that this is a man but this man's more powerful than the man that he's actually using to do these spells and this guy is the one who's getting the hit you know is this guy getting any karma this king of swords queen of wands guy is he getting any karma for what he's doing is this the, the more powerful man is he getting any karma for what he's doing Three of Wands, it's coming to him. Ten of Swords, he, he actually might die. It's coming to him with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Ten of, Ten of Swords is the physical death card. It can actually represent a physical death. He's going to be an angel. So it's coming. Death is coming for this King of Swords. This guy could feel like he's losing it. But that, that's the thing. It might come for this guy too. Because I was seeing a, a guy who's trying to, you know throw himself like drive off a cliff so both of them might end up like this but this guy's more guilty okay so what's the advice for this man here the aries gemini scorpio man here the first man eight of pentacles reverse stop working stop doing the work that this guy's paying you to do right Two of Pentacles. Try to f get work doing something else. This guy might have financial difficulties and that's why he's accepting this crap. He might need to find something else to do. What else should he do? Ten of Wands. Carry stuff? I don't know. Uh, yeah, carry stuff. Five of Swords. He needs to admit defeat. He needs to uh, stop doing whatever the hell he's doing. <sighs> Free of swords. 53 could be significant. 82 and 53 could be significant somehow. Um, anything he does is better than continuing this because death is coming for both of these men. Okay, so... Um, Anything else? Two of swords. Five, three, two. You see it's kind of like a, a countdown here. Ace of cups. I think there's a chance to heal this. I mean, for this man, he could... Um, he, he could uh, heal the situation if he stopped working on whoever he's working on. For this other man. So I think this man has a chance to be okay if he stops doing it now. The other guy, I don't think so. How about the... Yes, it's true. Okay, it's true. It's, uh, this uh, The fool in the upright is a yes for me. 
King of Pentacles. Okay, so this guy's gonna be okay, and he might uh, his finances will improve too with the King of Pentacles here. But the other guy, no, the other guy's gone. Okay, how about this uh, King of Swords? What's gonna happen to the King of Swords, Queen of Wands character here? If he stops uh, paying people to do crap. King of Cups. Okay, he's gonna heal too. There you go. Four of Wands. Oh, look at that. That's even... Okay, so things can be can go very well for both of these people if they stop doing what they're doing, okay? There you go. Six of Cups. This could even be love. He might be... Okay, this guy might come into union with somebody, have some kind of relationship here. So they're both going to be fine if they stop putting spells on somebody. Who are they putting spells on? Eight of Swords. Uh, this is like binding. Maybe another air sign. Who are they putting spells on? Eight, eight. Look at that. Two eights. Three eights, actually. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. This could be another man, actually. Is this another man? Yeah, it's a man. 75 could be significant. The man could be born in 75. Could be a fire sign. Okay, I think he's putting poverty spells on this man and binding spells. Yeah, so there's two men. There's one man who's paying another man to do spells on a third man. Why? Why? Nine of Pentacles for money. Queen of Cups or for love. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups could be a woman, right? Because Nine of Pentacles represented by a woman. Could be an attractive woman. Okay, oh... What did I say? I said that this guy who's putting the spells on, he's going to be king of cups if he stops doing spells. So he's going to be possibly in a relationship with this queen of cups. So this guy, okay, the king of swords, king of cups here, is asking this fool uh, knight of swords to do magic on this knight of wands because he wants um, the queen of cups, okay? Now I got it. Okay, there you go. And I think they're more likely to come together, these two, if he stops doing what he's doing. He needs to stop attacking this guy. This guy could be powerful spiritually too, even if we've got the Five of Pentacles here. Knight of Wands for me is kind of like an angel, an earth angel. Well, of course it could be a player too. But <laughs> anyway, like I said, it's like death is coming for those guys for what they're doing. So this person might be protected spiritually. Because with lots of wands here, yeah, he could be protected spiritually from attacks, right? Seven of wands is like a protection. Being protected from the five of wands. So this guy has spiritual protection. Even though they're trying to bind him and keep him in po poverty, spiritually he's very protected, okay? That's what I'm getting. So stop attacking this guy. Because you're going to go nuts, both of you. Look, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It could be that these two are supposed to be together, but uh, not in this way. Okay, so what's going to happen? What's the outcome? Oh, God damn it. Don't give me the whole deck. What's going to happen? Okay, this one wanted to stay. Nine of Wands reversed. Somebody's going to get over um, some kind of trauma. What's going to happen here? Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Now I've got 74. I had 75, now I have 74. Maybe that's significant, I don't know. Queen of Swords, King of Wands. This is like an equal give and take between two people or sharing something. Hmm. There's going to be some kind of conversation here with the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, I think. And what will the conversation lead to? Ace of Cups. 
okay, there's going to be a new beginning in love with somebody here who who knows who i don't know <laughs> of course the queen of swords could be the the woman we're talking about because there's a woman that's in the middle of the whole thing and this could be this man one of these men there's gonna be a new beginning here which which one is this king of wands which of these men is the king of wands three of cups Four of Swords. Somebody they're in separation with. There's going to be some kind of reunion with somebody they're in separation with, possibly. Water and air. 13 is uh, death, is transformation, is Scorpio energy here. of cups this is some kind of rejection look 444 is here 444 is usually talking about abundance or the fact that you're protected somebody's protected like i said people are protected here so nobody should be trying to use magic because somebody's protected knight of pentacles six of swords Right, so there you go. Somebody has to stop doing magic and they have to talk. If they want to talk to somebody, they need to talk to somebody and clarify something. But they need to stop doing magic because it's going to kill them. Them and the person they're paying to do this. Okay, whatever. This is the message I've got for somebody. Bye.